There are few more influential names in video games than Dark Souls, from Software's iconic action RPG series and its spiritual successors, have spawned enough copycats to create their own genre even, Souls-like. Here's the thing though, these games are dark, folks, both in terms of tone and the fact that it's often literally difficult to see. I love Bloodborne. Very pumped to play Lies of P, but can we light some lamps around here or something? Enotria, the last song, aims to change all of that. The in-development title from Italian Armenian studio Jayama Games is aiming to create, in their words, a summer souls-like featuring bright colors and sunny landscapes rooted in Italian folklore. Enotria puts you in control of an unnamed warrior sung into existence by a bard. The world, a story that narrates itself into existence, has been hijacked by a group of nefarious playwrights. It's up to you to stop them by, you guessed it, murdering everyone in sight. Actors, am I right? All the world's a stage, and men and women are merely players, except you. Using a fervor mechanic, you can alter reality to find alternate routes and hidden loot. Jayama may just have the pedigree to pull all this off, too. The company is filled with former CD Projekt Red employees who worked on Cyberpunk 2077 and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which drew heavy inspiration from Slavic folklore with beasties like the Drowners, Kikamores, Lycians, these twisted sisters. Could Anotria put mythical Italian monsters on the map in the same way? Beasties like Amon, the Tetzelworm, and this random wild man? Enotria, the last song, doesn't have a release date yet, but would you check out a Summer Souls-like? Let us know in the comments below.